Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's uh, video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. Let's get into Adam Adodel and Ivy Hill, who is the man supposedly who took his life. So let's get into a few of these updated articles on Adam Dodell, a.k.a. Bell, and this Ivy Hall kid. So the vigil was last night for Adam Dodell. Friends and family will gather in Alabaster to remember slain Alabama State University student Adam Bell Dowdell. The 22-year-old Dowdell was found Deceased Monday, nearly a week after he disappeared from campus. Police have not announced any arrest in his killing. A candlelight vigil is scheduled for 7 p.m. Thursday, which was last night, and I do have some video of it. It was beautiful. His mom absolutely broke my heart. So then we get into the one who was arrested for this horrendous crime, and I'm sure it's a senseless crime teen who overcame incredible odds to become valedictorian is a suspect in ASU student's murder case. So this was yesterday, Thursday, September 17th, 2020. So Ivy Hall, a sophomore majoring in business at Alabama State University, is a person of interest in the murder case of ASU student Adam Adodo. Okay, so he hasn't been arrested for murder. He's a person of interest. So maybe they saw him on the cameras, the bank cams. They know more than what they're saying. But whose body was found behind a church on Monday. Dowdow's mother, Toya Cohill, identified Hall as a friend who went with her son to an ATM machine last week. So he was the one who went to the ATM with him. So Dow Dow 21 never returned to his dorm room. So they got him 21 here and 22 in another article. He was missing for five days when his body was found behind a church not far from ASU campus. Okay, so we will go back there because that was a church in my last video that I said there's a church right there at that corner. Of, I think it was Riley and the street that he was found on the 800 block. So Cohill posted photos of her son and Hall on Facebook late Wednesday. She wrote in all caps, they got him. Thank you, Jesus. Justice for Adam Dowdow, aka Bell. I won't miss a court date. Hall, a 20 year old Chicago native, grew up in the South Side and overcame incredible odds to become valedictorian at Tilden High School. According to ABC7, Hall moved in with a cousin after his single mom passed away from cancer when he was 12. When my mom passed away, I was so hurt, Ivy said, and I just wanted to do better, he told ABC7. I had to get on three buses and one train, Hall said. It took him two hours to get to school. Hall said his childhood was filled with trouble. Gang banging. I used to smoke when I was little. Adding that he dropped out of school at one point. I did a lot of stuff. That's just from the image I was seeing, so I wanted to do it too, he said. I don't believe in giving up, and I think that failure is not an option. When he was a senior, he lost his dad to lung failure. Of course, I lost my mom. I lost my dad. I wish they were still here to see what I've accomplished now, but they're not. Everything is not going to come as you want it, he said. Despite the tragedy and setbacks in his life, Hall persevered and studied hard to become school valedictorian. I always wish that I would graduate valedictorian. And look, I did, Hall said. I was beyond happy. In 2019, Hall headed to Alabama State University on a full scholarship. Major in business so I can open up my own business. I'm not for sure what I want to open up, but I want to help people. Like she's doing, Hall said, referring to his mentor, Sally Hazelgrove, who runs an Inglewood boxing gym. I'm going to go to college and graduate, so I'm going to find a way to study. I'm going to find a way to do everything without giving up. If I give up, I will just be like everybody that I know, Hall said. So, something happened for somebody that has accomplished and come so far in his life and... I wonder if there was a girlfriend involved 
or a girl that they both liked or something like that. I just don't see drugs or him getting jumped for his money at the ATM now because he went with him to the ATM. So instead of speculate, but that's just what I'm feeling on it. And of course, we will have to wait and see what is out on it. But what could it be? What would have caused him to kill his friend? I am looking for anything on Ivory Hall as far as being booked into Montgomery County, Alabama. And if I put in his name and I search for Ivory Hall, nothing comes up. I also jumped into the Cook County Sheriff's Office and did a search on Ivory Hall. And I'll show you, it just, as you see, I've already searched. I don't have a booking number. I'm not a robot. Submit. Inmate search results, no records found that match the criteria for Ivory Hall. So I am going to look at it. I am staying on top of both of those news stations are coming out of Montgomery and hopefully soon we will know more than what we know now. So here is the aerial of the area. So over here we've got the campus, Alabama State University. Here is the 800 block of Hutchinson Street. And then I did see the church. So here is the church. Okay. I'm thinking this is the back of the church and they're saying that he was found behind the church on the 800 block of Hutchinson so you know it could be in this corner it could be back here in these trees I don't know I think it's very sad what I do not understand is what happened for this kid that was on the path to be successful and Adam Adodow to where he had to kill him and I don't know what you guys think but of course I want you to drop your comments below so I know but I don't know do you think there was a girl involved anyways like I said before I am going to stay on top of it as soon as I hear anything new I will get it out as soon as possible but I do leave the house during the day so <laughs> I don't sit here all day waiting for something to pop up to make a video all right guys let's have a look at the visual they had for Adam Adele Dow aka Bell and let's end it with that so when I finished almost to the end of my video yesterday something told me to hold out until the morning and to check and see if they made an arrest in the Adam Dodell case and they have so the arrest made in connection to death of Alabama State University student according to the Montgomery Police Department 20 year old Ivory Hall was arrested and charged with murder in connection of the death of 22 year old Adam Dowdow. Dowdow, a student at Alabama State University, was found dead in Montgomery on September 14th after his family said he disappeared days earlier on September 8th, 2020. Authorities responded to the 800 block of Hutchinson Street after receiving a report of a possible body found. The body was transported to Alabama Department of Forensic Science for an autopsy and after further investigation, the body was officially identified as Adele Dell, a.k.a. Bell, and may you rest in peace. Police said the investigation revealed Dow Dell was fatally shot, but the circumstances surrounding the shooting are still unknown. Hall is being held in the Montgomery County detention facility so earlier in the video as you saw i searched all of these counties for him and he was not popping up but this morning he is so let's have a look at his booking mugshot and here we go montgomery county alabama sheriff's office ivory lee hall bond cash two hundred and fifty thousand. one count 
of murder intentionally cause of death. So now he is sitting in Montgomery County, Alabama. He is being held in the detention center. So now he will probably see the judge and we will have to follow the case and see what happens from here. And with that, guys, it is a wrap. My question is, why did Ivory Hall have a gun with him going to the ATM with Adam Dodell? I do not know why, but my gut is telling me that there might be a girl involved. It's my opinion. I am praying for peace for his mother and his family. And may Adam Dodell, A.K.L. Bell, rest in peace peace let's end it with his vigil and everyone thank you for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and uh, subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay uh, vigilant i am out